Hello everyone but before I start talking about this Mika issue I would like to warn you because I'm going to talk about not appropriate topics so if you're very young 10 I would recommend you to not watch this video for real I don't want to traumatize kids. Let's get into the topic now. So for those who don't know who Mika is she is basically a 12 years old Russian animator with over 600k subscribers. And she did some uh... Oh my god bro. Oh, hell no. No, but seriously, what the heck is that? Like on this video, I took a screenshot of it, and the video is still on her account for some reason. Her brother is asking her to wear a very sus dress to celebrate 100,000. Her brother. Even if the more inappropriate part were covered, that doesn't mean she's not wearing it. Also, her ox are mostly animals. Oh, hell no! <laughs> like? What is this supposed to be other than Zephilia? She put her animal lock in a very inappropriate dress multiple times. But anyways, let's get into another part of the video. So yes, Mika has haters like Makiko Fox, Milliken Bunny and others that I forgot. Of course, Mika has haters like every big YouTubers. But Mika said that her haters are stupid, clowns, shit and that she hate them. I mean, her haters kinda send death threats to her. The sentence to death threats could go up to five years of prison. So Mika did the Rasputin trend which is a trend where you use this base to draw your awk. But the creator of this base said to not use the base as a base. So the Mika kit fan base is a huh. They stole the videos of many Mika haters to make it not Mika hate but it still count as plagiarism or art theft. And they can go to jail for that. Let's play a game. Guess how many bad things Mika Kid did? And the answer is art theft, insulting people, thinking she's better than the haters, zoophilia, inappropriate videos, S3 actualizing minors, bullying, acts like she's the victim. That's it for today. Goodbye and also, don't hate since it's only my opinion and statistics.